Decora and Crestwood for Northeast Iowa Conference basketball. Your keys to a Viking victory, easier said than done in this gymnasium, Larry. You're right, Darren. We've seen a lot of disappointing games over here in, in regards to not win, not winning them, but we've had a lot of good games. Uh, Darren, most important thing is I think Coach Carlson hit upon it. We have to continue with that good shooting that we've done, put the pressure on them to play good defense because Cresco is a team that does not like to play defense. What they want to do is they want to get out and run. They want to get up and down the floor, beat you back, get some easy baskets. So make them play defense. Be that same disciplined shooting team that we've been, that we've seen the last couple of times. Number two, we've got to keep key people out of foul trouble. We can't have any uh, fouls that are going to get us into a situation where we're going to have to sit on a bench for any length of time. Number three, and probably the most important thing, and this goes hand-in-hand in hand with the uh, shooting that I talked about just a minute ago, we have got to get maximum number of touches on the ball and get the ball into that middle because I really believe that we have an opportunity to perform well in the middle tonight, Darren, if we just make an effort to do so. And that's the thing about the patience end of things. Uh, if there's one thing that you could say is a pretty good trait of a John Carlson coach basketball team is the patience on offense. In the two years that John has been coached, rarely, if ever, have we uh, ever looked at each other as if to say, what the heck are we doing there? These kids really don't take a heck of a lot of bad shots, so yep. hopefully that continues tonight. Yeah, you're right. And there's something else I want to see continue too, Darren, is that uh, if you recall, Last week against New Hampton, we saw some out-of-bounds plays that were just absolutely sensational, gave us good looks at the basket. I think that could be a big, kind of a, one of those uh, intangibles, if you will. Tonight, Darren, I'm going to keep track of second-chance baskets and third and fourth chance because the other night, New Hampton kind of hurt us on that later in that third, fourth quarter. Start of the second quarter in the girls' game, Decora leading Crestwood 15-13. to Oh, wow. That's a big game for and, us. And uh, Crestwood, a team defeated that defeated Decor on this uh, floor the other night, 80 to 43. So and Crestwood, plus we're missing a couple players, Darren. Crestwood to our right, Decor to our left. Tap will be between Kristen Bohr and Holt Johansson. The ball is in the air, and the tap controlled by Decora. Callan Nimrod will dribble to the front court to our left. Crestwood out the man-to-man. Passes on the right wing to Holt Johansson. Top of the key to Schuring. On the left side to Brace Pierce. Left wing, Callan Nimrod. Back top of the circle to Johansson. Now to Hartman. Turns and faces along the left baseline. Drives to the left block. Put up the shot. Had it partially rejected. And the rebound down to Tristan Bohr for the cadets. Bohr to Thompson. Tried to get it underneath the Haskovic. It's knocked away by Johansson. Taken away by Pierce. Now to Nimrod. Left corner to Schuring. Schuring on the drive. Left of the lane. Goes across the lane. Put it up off the glass. No good. Loose ball taken by Nimrod. Top of the key. Bikes will reset. 40 seconds in. No score. Yeah, Skurin was so dang god hyped up there. He missed that. He had a wide open look for a layup. Johansson on the left wing. Dribbles to the top of the key. Kicks it back to Skurin. Left side. Three-pointer up. It's off the back iron. Rebound being fought for. Loose ball controlled by Cresco. It's Spencer Bohr that got it. Now to Will Thompson. Thompson up into the front court. Had it stripped. Loose ball taken by Johansson. Ford Akura. Out of Pierce. Passes across the timeline to Drake Screen. Dribbles in front of the Crestwood bench. Top of the key to Bryce Pierce. Pierce leaves it right of the key to Nimrod. Underneath at the right block to Chris Hartman. Hartman turns and faces against Haskovic. Back deep on the right side to Johansson. Left side to Nimrod. Crossover dribble to the high post left. Leaves it now to Screen. Screen on the drive of the lane. Bounce pass right side to Johansson. Steps up to a 15-footer. Got it. And the Vikes take the first lead a minute and a half in. And that that was money for Johansson the other night and Decor, I might add. 2 nothing Decor, 6.20 to play, quarter number one. Spencer board to Jeffrey Haskovec, high on the right. Jeffrey Haskovec holds and looks, kicks on the left side, Tristan Bohr on the drive of the lane, put it up off the glass and in. Tristan Bohr makes it 2-2 or two minutes in. Cadets coming off a 70% shooting night against Prairie du Chien on Saturday night. On the left side with it is... Nimrod. Nimrod now to Pierce. Right side of Johansson. Right baseline to Schuring. Schuring checked there by Kubler. Leaves that at the free throw line to Bryce Pierce. Pierce drives to the left block. Lost control of it. Got it back in the left corner. Pierce bounced fast underneath the Hartman. Dumps it back to Pierce in the lane. Pierce right baseline to Johansson. 15 footer up. No good. Rebound. Loose ball. And a foul is going to be called. 
And which direction is it going to go? I believe it's going to go on the cadets or Hartman. correction. It's going to go the other way. Chris Hartman will pick up the foul. It'll be the first of the game. We're 225 in and we're even at two. That's the first time I've seen Johansson kind of taken off balance shot. He's been really good at that. 2 2 the score, two and a half minutes in. On the left side, Kuvalier underneath to Spencer Borth. The left block put up a layup. No good. Rebound. Karim Durant taken by Will Thompson. He'll go into the lane. Put up a one-hander. Yep, and good. Will Thompson with his first two. 4-2 Crestwood. 5-13 to play quarter number one. Johansson ahead to Hartman. Lays it up around the rim and good. Good press break by Adekora. Yeah, a little bit of the old medicine back at Cresco there. Fast break basket. 4-4 the score. We're three minutes in. Spencer Bohr high on the right. Left side to Jeffrey Haskovic. Back right side to Kuvalier. Kuvalier left side to Will Thompson. Checked by Nimrod. Passes underneath towards uh, Haskovic and Chris Hartman will get caught with his hand in the cookie jar. Hartman will pick up two quick ones. We're 450. We have four minutes and 52 seconds left here in the first quarter. We're tied at four. Yeah, that's what we're talked about, Darren, in the pregame. And it was interesting. They had Lang on the, on the sideline ready to come in before he fouled. Kristen Bohr, left corner to Thompson, underneath the Spencer Bohr. Turnaround shot, no good. Rebound down to Lang for the quarter. Outlet left to Jacob Leaves. Leaves up into the front court, working between the circles. Leaves it right of the key to Schuring. Left side to Johansson. Left baseline to Leaves. Leaves left to the key to Nimrod. Back between the circles to Schuring. Schuring on the right side to Johansson. Lobs that underneath to the big guy, Lang. Lang double team, goes across the lane, put up a left hander, oh. got it to go. I tell you what, Darren, I'm loving it. Lang with his first two, 6 4 to Cora, 4 20 to play first quarter. Thompson on the right side to Tristan Bohr. Bohr at the free throw line to Spencer Bohr. Lob pass underneath towards uh, Girolamo, and he got it knocked away by Lang and taken away by Nimrod. Nimrod on the right side to Johansson. Johansson, strong move to the hole. Lays it up and in, and a foul called on Spencer Bohr. And boy, we saw that the other night too, didn't we, Darren? Quick moves to the basket. He was causing all kinds of grief. I think it even forced New Hampton to kind of go into a little bit of a box there zone. So, Joe Hansen with the opportunity at the hat trick as Bohr picks up Crestwood's first foul. Joe Hansen, a 67% free throw shooter, 8 4 to core up, halfway point, quarter number one. And you know what caused that is that Lang's inside game, being as strong as he is, forced him to kind of take a step toward him and it freed up uh, Joe Hansen. And Joe Hansen, first and only up and good, 9 4 to core, biggest lead of the game either side. Spencer Bohr on the oh, right double side. Dribbled. He double dribbled with Hello. it. Hello. Just a mental lapse that time for Spencer Bohr, and the cadets have turned it over quite a bit thus yeah, far. Four times Decor has yet to, to get into that category. Nimrod will dribble up into the front court against the defense of Tristan Bohr. Nimrod will dribble across the timeline, gets trapped on the half court, leaves it on the left side to Johansson, left corner to Kyle Kane, back to Johansson, and a kicking violation is called on Kuvalier. So Decora will play it on the near sideline. Drake Schuring will come back in for Decora. He will get Callan Nimrod. Leaps, Kane, Lang, and Johansson, the rest of the quintet for Decora. Girolamo, Bohr, Bohr, Thompson, and Kuvalier for the cadets. Cadets out in the 2-3 zone. Kane along the sideline, back between the circles to Schuring. Right side to Leap, strong move to the hole, put it up, had it blocked by Girolamo, loose ball taken by Kuvalier for the cadets. Now to Will Thompson. Thompson up in the front court to Girolamo, left block, puts it up and in. Girolamo with his first two. And it's a 9-6 lead as the official is going to stop play here. Have a little chat with uh, Lang and Bohr, and he'll tell them both to, hey, cool it, fellas. I think this is a good job of preventative officiating. Yeah. officiating. I didn't see anything major no. happen, but the official saw something that could escal- escalate. It's better to put that uh, put a stop to it before it uh, gets into something that could be embarrassing to either guy. Well, and you know that uh, Lang, the first game we saw him play, it was he kind of lost a little bit of his cool. During pass, intercepted. Tristan Bohr drives down the lane, put up a layup, too strong. Loose ball being fought for, taken by Leaps. What a correct. Out of Schuring. This is Vikings Radio, 1240 KDC to Cora. Schuring 
Get pass over to Johansson left side. Johansson on the move in the lane. Kicks it right corner to Leaps. Three-pointer up. Long rebound down to Girolamo for the Cadets. Now to Thompson. Thompson speeds up the center of the floor. Thompson on the drive. Left of the lane. Takes a five-footer. And it sticks between the rim and the backboard. Alternating possession will go to the Cadets. Huh. Now you don't see that very often. Pinpoint precision right there yeah. from Will Thompson. If he'd have tried to do that, he'd never made it. Thompson obviously thinks he's going to be the game tonight, Darren. You ever notice that? I mean, he's just taking it right at the court and saying, hey, you're going to stop me or not. Bounce pass to Will Thompson in the left corner. He'll retreat to the midcourt area. The court has played man-to-man for the first five and a half minutes of the game. Vikes lead at 9-6, two and a half to play first quarter. On the right wing with it is Tristan Bohr. Between the legs, dribble against Kyle Keene. Spinning right of the lane, put it up off the glass and in. Christian Bohr with his second bucket. It's 9-8 to Cora. 2.22 to play first quarter. Scurring with it across the timeline. Scurring to Lang, top of key, left side, Colin Nimrod. Nimrod retreats to the midcourt area now, stops, bounce pass left side, two leaps. Cadets in a trapping zone defense. Now to Scurring, right baseline to Kyle Kane. Kane kicks it left of the lane to Leaps. Leaps is pass, kicked up and in off the... Leg of Tristan Bohr. Don't know if he was a football kicker. and Don't know if the description's accurate, but hey, it was fun to say I'm still in Super Bowl mode. Yeah, well, it, uh, the, and I don't think Crestwood has uh, soccer, so. At the free throw line, laying left side to Nimrod. Callen takes the three-pointer. It's no good. Rebound pulled down by Spencer Bohr for the guys. Quickly ahead to Tristan Bohr. Drives in the lane. Put it up off the glass. Too strong. Rebound taken the lane by Justin Martinez. Top of the key to Thompson. Thompson left side to Spencer Bohr. A three is up and good. Cadets with five in a row, and they lead it 11, or 10 to 9, rather, with 100 seconds to play first quarter. At the free throw line is Lang. Lang to Kane, right block, put it up, no good. Rebound to Girolamo for the Cadets. Now to Thompson, quickly ahead to Tristan Bohr. Bohr to the right block, puts it up and in. Tristan Bohr with six. 12-9, Crestwood. They have scored seven in a row with a minute 15 to play here in quarter number one. Great scurring. Back between the circles to Callan Nimrod. High on the left to Lang. Right side, Drake Scurring. Three-pointer up. Got it. Drake with his first bucket. And we're... It's 13-12. to 12. Cadets. 55 seconds to play. Quarter number one. Right baseline with it is Spencer Bohr. 15-footer, no good. Rebound down on the weak side to the Cadets. It was Martinek that got it. Back out to Thompson. Thompson. Over on the left side to Justin Martinek. Right side to Will Thompson. Thompson on the left side to Martinek. Martinek skips it over on the right side to Tristan Bohr. Tristan Bohr's going to take a three-pointer and bury it. Tristan Bohr with nine already. 16 to 12. Cadets lead it. 25 seconds to play. Quarter number one. Scurring double teamed on the half court. Had the ball knocked away. Loose ball taken by Tristan Bohr. Bohr left side. Drives in. Put up a layup. No good. Rebound being fought for. It's going to be a tie-up. Between Spencer Bohr and Drake Scurring, the alternating possession to Decor. 13.5 to play quarter number one, a 16 to 12 lead for the Cadets. We got to attack this this full court pressure that uh, they put on us. A one, what would you call it? A one three one. We got to do something against it. We're just kind of going right into it, Darren. Yep, three quarter court pressure, and they're trapping out of it. As Scurring leaves it for Lang, midcourt area, left side, two leaps, six seconds left in the corner. Now to Drake Scurring with five seconds left in the corner. Left side, Jacob leaps, he's going to get an open look for three at the buzzer. It's no good, and the quarter sounds, and the or the buzzer sounds, and the quarter is over. 16-12, Decora trailing Crestwood after one. This for the chiropractic offices of Dr. Kelly Reagan. Welcome back to Crestwood, everybody. 16-12, Crestwood leads it after one. Crestwood uh, brought a few guys in off the bench, and uh, that just kind of elevated everybody uh, at, in that uh, about the midway point of the uh, first quarter, Larry. Yeah, and that happens every year. I mean, I, my grandson played over here last year, and I saw a lot of their games, and that's exactly what happened then. They seem to bring those guys off the bench, and that's their role. you got to get her going. Crestwood ball to start the second quarter. Mike Assimile, Will Thompson, Jeffrey Haskovec, Tristan Bohr, and Matthew Kubelier in the game for the Cadets. It's Pierce, Schuring, Lang, 
Yes. Leaps and Johansson, and a foul is going to be called on Tristan Bohr, pushing off to get position. And I saw it. It was a great call by the official. He didn't miss it. The guy cleared out to get position. 15 seconds into the quarter, 16 to 12 cadets. Johansson lobs across the timeline to Skurring. Left corner oh, two. Get it in there. Leaps back to Skurring. Deep on the right side of Johansson, left side of Skurring. Left corner to Leaps. Leaps takes a dribble, being pressured by Tristan Bohr. Left short corner to Lang. Lang now to Leaps. Back to Lang. Lays it up. No good. Lang got it back. Put it up. Foul called. Lang went to the floor as he was hit on the shot. Second chance opportunity here for Lang. And the foul will be against Micah Simile. He'll put it up his first and the team's third. That's our first one for Decor, a second chance basket. And Cresco has one as well. So it's not really a factor so far, Darren. And the first free throw no good for James Lang, only a 41% free throw shooter. You know, uh, Decor shot 36% in that first quarter. Cresco shot about 52%, Darren. Second free throw up and good. And even with that, you're only down four. Yeah. Will Thompson brings it up to the front court. 16-13, Cadets 7-18 to play second quarter. Thompson dribbles to the left side. Top of the key to Simile. Simile right wing to Tristan Bohr. Bohr will take a dribble. Goes top of the key to Simile. He'll take a three-pointer and bury it. Simile with the three-pointer. That's only his fifth of the year. Yeah, they're three for three so far from Mosebleed territory. 19-13, Cadets. One minute into quarter number two. Johansson dribbling up into the front court, right side to Bryce Pierce. Pierce, right side to Johansson, takes a 15-footer, no good. Tristan bore the rebound for the Cadets. Now to Will Thompson. Thompson up into the front court. Thompson back to Tristan Bohr. The trailer takes a three. He'll miss a three. The rebound caroms to Jacob Leaps for the court. Leaps up into the front court. Leaps on the right side to Pierce. Pierce, top of the key, two leaps. Leaps on the right side of Pierce. Pierce, right baseline to Johansson. Yeah. Johansson kicks it back to nobody in particular. Ball goes into the backcourt, and Drake Stirring finally going to touch it up for an over and back. This zone given to Cora Fitz. Well, geez, Darren, it's wide open on the backside. we got to look past for that skip pass. we got to lay up on the back end. Halftime in the girls' game, Crestwood leading to Cora 28-20. That's a good ball game. 6.17 to play, quarter number two. Kane and Lang out to join Leap Schring. Pierce and Nimrod on the floor. Will Thompson brings it to the front court to our right for the cadets. The score going 1 3 1 now to Kubalier, left baseline to Spencer Bohr. Spencer takes a couple of dribbles on the drive of the lane, put it up off the glass and in. As Spencer Bohr now with five, the cadets up 16 or 21 to 13, a 15 to 4 run here for Crestwood. Nimrod back between the circles to Drake Stern with 5.48 to play second quarter. Keep it on the right side of Leaps, right corner to Bryce Pierce. Pierce leaves it right of the lane to Leaves. He'll retreat, leaves it for Pierce, right wing. Pierce on the drive of the lane now stops, goes right corner to Leaves. Leaves attacks the rim, jump pass out to Colin Nimrod, left corner. Nimrod on the drive of the lane, put up the shot, it was partially deflected. Leaves saves the rebound into Skirring, who puts it up for two. Great hustle play there by Leaves. 21 15, Crestwood up six, 520 to play here in the second quarter. Will Thompson with the basketball, midcourt area in front of us. On the left side in front of the Decorah bench to Kubelier. Left corner, Tristan Bohr, three-pointer up and good. Correction, that was Spencer. He's got eight thus far. Cadets can hardly miss. It's 24-15. Yeah. They're four for five from three-point land. They lead by nine with five minutes to play second quarter. Nimrod on the left side to Pierce. Pierce on the drive of the lane, now stops. Bounce pass out to Leaf's right side. A three-second lane call on Bryce Pierce. So Decora just struggling. That's their third turnover, but Bites 5 of 13 thus far. Cadets 6 of 12 from two-point range, yeah. 4 of 5 from three-point range. That's frankly tough to beat, but Decora not, honestly, not playing very well defensively. I don't either. think so either. I think they're giving them some good looks. Up into the front court come the, comes the Cadets with Martinic on the right wing. Martinic, guarded by Schuring, leaves it right of the lane to Girolamo. His pass deflected, run down to the midcourt area by Kuvalier. He kicks it back to Will Thompson with 4.28 to play the second quarter. Thompson on the left side of Boer, and a foul called away from the ball. And 
And who, who, who are you going to give the foul on, sir? It's Andre Scurring. Scurring picks up the foul, his first, and the team's third. 4.23 to play here in the third quarter. Well, it's important that Decor starts to kind of settle in here a little bit. On the left side with it is Matthew Kuvalier. Top of the key to Girolamo. Underneath the Spencer Bohr. Lost control of the ball. Tried to save it. Ran out of real estate. Turnover number five of the cadets. You know, right now, Crestwood has 11 rebounds. Decor only has five. Six. That's a that's a part of the factor as the game is as score-wise, too. Halfway point, second quarter. Cadets up by nine. Here is Pierce. In quarter area to Johansson. Left side to Scurring. Drake's going to take a three-pointer. It's no good. Rebound, Karam Durant. Taken by Thompson for the cadets. Cadets in transition. Thompson trying to take it coast to coast. Puts it up off the glass and in. And a foul on Drake Schuring. And that's Crestwood basketball right there. They just go right at you. And it's all predicated on having a pretty good point guard. And uh, Thompson, uh, shades of uh, the Murphy kids in the past. Yeah. If you can get in his head. First and only up and good. Thompson with 5, 27-15. Crestwood with 3.50 to play second quarter. And they've got another one coming here. The 10th grader, Tristan Bohr, is good. Yep. He's real good. Plus, he's got some size to him, Darren. 27-15. Crestwood up 12. In the backcourt, Pierce passes it to Johansson. Dribbles across the timeline. Now to Lang. Left side to Pierce. Pierce leaves it to Nimrod, midcourt area to Johansson. Johansson dribbles to the free throw line, dumps it to Lang, down the lane, lays it up and in. Lang with five, 27 17 to Cora. Great assist there by Johansson. 325 to play till halftime. On the left side with it is Kubelier. Kubelier back between the circles to Tristan Bohr, left side of Kubelier. Kubler to Tristan Bohr, midcourt area, gets it to Spencer Bohr, right of the lane, drives to the right block, put up the shot, no good, rebound down to Johansson after some nice defense, passes ahead to Nimrod, Nimrod on the attack, put up a running one-hander, no good, but a foul is going to be called on the cadets, so Callen will go to the free throw line to shoot a couple. Got a bail out there, didn't we? Nimrod was out in the hallway behind the basket. I mean, he didn't have a shot at it. It is the second foul on Tristan Bohr and the fourth on the team. And Nimrod will shoot a couple of free throws. Nimrod a 67% on the season. First free throw, no good. 3.05 to play second quarter. Cadets up by 10. We've got to become better free throw shooters, Darren. The core only 58% on the season. That's that's not acceptable. And they're 2 of 4 tonight. Cadets are 1 of 1. Second free throw up and good. Nimrod with his first point. 27-18. Decora trailing by nine. Three minute mark, second quarter. Up to the front court, Will Thompson on the right side of Artinic. Back to Thompson, midcourt area. Thompson guarded by Nimrod. Decora man to man this trip. Right side of Martinic on the right wing. Leaves it to Girolamo. Left side of Thompson around a screen. Left wing and a hold uh, foul or no, a three second. Three second. We'll take that. Yeah, a, a turnover on Crestwood. That's right. 2.45 to play second quarter. A 27-18 lead for the Crestwood Cadets. Scurring, or Pierce across the timeline to Lang. Lang to Johansson right side of Pierce. Left corner to Nimrod. Nimrod threw it one way. Pierce cut the other way. Johansson touches it up for an over and back. Again, we're not looking to attack this thing. The skip pass is open, Darren. 2.30 to play, second quarter, 27-18. Decora trailing Crestwood. They trailed 16-12 to at the end of the first quarter. Girolamo left side to Matt Kubelier. Kubelier on the left wing, takes a couple of dribbles. Goes Tabaki to Girolamo. On the right side to Spencer Bohr. Spencer Bohr to Thompson around to Girolamo screen. Takes a three-pointer up and good. Eight points for Girolamo, and it's 30-18 cadets. 2-5 to play second quarter. That was Will Thompson, I think, Darren, that scored. Left side to Lang to Nimrod. Nimrod takes a three-pointer, no good. Thompson with the rebound. He goes coast to coast, goes up, gets fouled by Bryce Pierce. Pierce picks up the first foul, the team's third. So Thompson, who has six in the quarter and eight on the night, will go to the free throw line to shoot a couple. He's an 82% free throw shooter. And how many times have you said coast to coast? I mean, a lot. 
a lot. You're going to say it some more, too, Darren. That's just his game. And I don't believe the hardware store chain is back in business. <laughs> I like it, Coach. I like it. Good thinking, Darren. Second free throw up and good. Thompson with 10. And it's 32-18 cadets. Well, you know what, Darren? I'm going to make a statement. We just did not come out with the same intensity that we had against New Hampton. Johansson. Two Nimrod shot of the timeline. Passes across the timeline to Johansson to Kane. Lob pass underneath the Lang. Off balance shot. No good. Rebound Uh-oh. up and in by Leeds. And the big guy Lang fell to the floor and he is injured. Whistle blows to... I hope it's not an ankle. Attend to him. Leaf's got his first bucket right there as Lang gets to his feet and he walks gingerly. He's got to go off for a play. I think he does have to go out for a play and uh, Bryce Pierce will come back into the game with 99 seconds to play here in the second quarter. Another nice play. Good take to the basket. A generous statistician would give them give uh, James an assist there. <laughs> I don't think that's uh, what he was trying to do, though. No, no. 32-20, cadets. Geralamo left corner to Kubelier on the left wing. Top of the key to Thompson, right side of Martinic. Now to Thompson, left side to Kubelier. Kubelier, a bounce pass, left corner to Simile. Simile on the left wing. Holding and looking, leaves it for Kubelier, left corner. Kubelier is going to take a 20-footer. It's no good. Rebound down to Pierce for the core. A minute 11 to play half till halftime. Pierce, right corner to Johansson. Backs it out to the right wing. Leaves it for Pierce. Left side to Nimrod. Nimrod goes reverse. Shot up and good. He got it to go somehow. As Nimrod has three. But a skip pass to the back side of the zone there, Larry. I liked it. That's what you got to do. 32-22. Ten-point lead for the Cadets. 48 seconds to play second quarter. Thompson with the basketball. Midcourt area on the left side of Kuvalier. Left corner to Simile. Simile in the left corner on the dribble. Works on Johansson in the zone. Left side of Martinez. Back to Thompson. Right side to Kuvalier. The free throw line to Simile. Simile on the drive of the lane. Put up the shot. No good. And a foul is called. Simile caught it at the high post and started to attack, and the foul will go against Jacob Leaps. That's his first and the team's sixth. 32-22, Cadets. 30.3 to play here in quarter number two. Simile at the free throw line, a 58 percenter. The first free throw is no good. That's about as low a percent as they'd have, I would guess, on a free throw. But uh, as a team, they're 63. Well, that's not so good including Tristan Bohr at 59%. Holy moly. Second free throw coming. It is up. It is good. Simile with four. 33-22 cadets. 28 seconds to play second quarter. Pierce passes across the timeline to Johansson. Left corner to Nimrod. Nimrod left to the lane to Johansson. Back between the circles to Pierce. Pierce with 17 seconds. Retreats to the center circle with 14 seconds. On the dribble goes right side to... Le- leaps now to Nimrod, left side to Johansson, left corner to Pierce. Pierce on the drive, left to the lane, goes up, shot block, foul call. 5.2 to play here in the second quarter, and Pierce will go to the free throw line as the foul was on Girolamo, his first team's fifth. That's what we have to do, Darren. You have to get the ball going, skip the ball around, either skip pass it or bring it around quick, and then go in at that weak side away from the ball. Pierce on the season, a 71% free throw shooter. He has yet to score tonight. Has an opportunity to pull to single digits. As first free throw up and good. And I would guess they're going to bring Bohr in here with his two fouls for a possible three-point shot at the end of the game, uh, quarter, or excuse me, half here, Darren. But you're both right. <laughs> two out of three ain't bad. Second free throw, no good. Rebound being oh. fought for. And oh. Lang picks up a cheap foul going over the back of Simile in the battle for the board. Lang picks up his first, team seventh, and that'll put Crestwood at the free throw That's line. That's not what we wanted to have happen, Darren. Simile with four, and he is one of two at the free throw line. 4.3 to play till halftime, 33-23. Kane in, Lang out. Good to see James back into the game after being injured a moment ago, but 
Unfortunately, things uh, didn't go the Cora's way there as Simile no. hits the first free throw. That's a huge play right there. We had that happen at the end of the third quarter, if you recall, over against New Hampton. A couple of missed. Oh, geez, don't put them back in. I'm not so sure that's good. Second free throw up and good. Six points for Simile. Unless there is... I, I, they, I don't think he can come back in because he went out and there wasn't any time that ran off the clock before he came back in. So I don't think Langle is allowed to come in. Am I right about that, Larry? Uh, yeah, you're right, and that's good. I mean, we didn't need to have no, nothing personal. I don't think we're going to have a shot here anyway. Unless we, had, unless uh, he had something set up with Lang coming to the middle of the floor. As Pierce baseball pass ahead to Johansson now to leaps top. A key three-pointer is up. No good. Rebound. Schering puts it up. No good. At the horn. Not a bad look, honestly. That was a, that was a slow horn. But the Cadets outscored the Vikings 16-12 in quarter number one and 19-11 to in quarter number two. And they lead it 35-23 at the halftime break. Let's uh, recap halftime after we hear from some of our fine sponsors, including Warner Sheep Mutual Insurance, Hacker Nelson, CPAs and Business Consultants, Jason Solon, your Farm Bureau Insurance Agent, and Hub Denoy. 35-23, decor up. Trailing Crestwood here at the halftime break. This is the first of seven basketball games that will be aired on AM 1240 this week. Tomorrow night, I will be down in Dubuque as Luther takes on Loris. Women's game starts at 6 and the men's game starts at 8. You can hear it at AM 1240 KWLC. And you got two games in you Friday night there, Coach B? Yeah, absolutely. I've been, I've been uh, gargling with nails to get my throat toughened up. Well, a scratchy voice to Larry Berlin might be uh, with us Friday night, but it'll be Decor and Waverly in a boy-girl doubleheader. And that will be Friday night at uh, 6.30 for the uh, girls' game. At 8 o'clock for the boys' game, we'll have them both on AM 1240 KDEC. And then Saturday, I'll be making the trip out to Storm Lake Holy as smokes. Luther takes on BV, and that will be a... Two o'clock or four o'clock for the women's game and six o'clock for the men's game that night. So, How, how's your voice going to do, Darren? Well, you know what? Uh, hopefully, the folks uh, that go to the Decorah Viking Athletic Booster Club Wrestling Tournament on Saturday or on Sunday will have a voice denouncer that day. <laughs> but uh, a lot of stuff coming up here on uh, AM 1240 KDEC. So, it's Johansson, Nimrod, Schuring, Hartman, and Lang for Decorah to start the second half. Lang on the left side to Johansson. Steps up to a 15-footer. It is no good. Rebound down to Lang. Lang skip pass over to Johansson. Left side is Tristan Bohr. It's Kubelier. It's Spencer Bohr. It is Haskovic and Will Thompson for Crestwood to start the second half. Crestwood out in a 1-3-1. Nimrod underneath towards Hartman, and the ball is deflected out of bounds by Will Thompson. Look at the weak side again, Darren. Keep kind of an eye on that. I know you're watching the ball, but, boy, we're wide open on that backside. Nimrod kicks it deep in the midcourt area, and a leaping grab is made by Johansson. He actually has to re-enter the front court and passes it on the right wing to Colin Nimrod. Bounce pass between the circles to Schuring on the left side to Johansson. Johansson takes a couple of dribbles back between the circles to there he is, Schuring. There he is there. Ooh. Now to Nimrod. Nimrod on the right wing, back between the circles, two scoring, right side to Nimrod, right corner to Hartman. Hartman will hold and look. Back on the right wing to Nimrod, back between the circles to Johansson, right side to Nimrod. Nimrod leaves it to Hartman in the right corner. High on the right to Lang, takes an eight-footer, no good. Rebound down to Spencer Bohr for the Cadets. Now to Will Thompson, lost control of the basketball. It's loose, it's taken there by Nimrod. And they're going to rule it a tied ball. Granted, Thompson had the nice figure four on the head, so that'd be a penalty point in wrestling. <laughs> but did he have his hands clasped too? Uh, no, he did not. Hmm. And that they're going to rule that a jump ball. And I see how they did it, but well, yeah, they put their two hands up and blew the whistle. <laughs> I saw that too. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Thompson up in the front court. Cadets up by 12. Right side, Tristan Bohr. Bohr on the drive. Right block. Puts it up and in. Tristan Bohr with 11. That's his first points since the first quarter. 
37-23 cadets. Johansson left to the lane, tried to get it to Hartman, does so. Hartman underneath towards Lang, and a foul is going to be called on Haskovic. Yep. Haskovic picks up his first and the team's first. And Lang, uh, certainly good ball, con- ball body and ball control on that. Uh, I, I think Decor is trying to get the ball inside if they can, but boy, I sure like to see him try to get that ball to the backside. Nimrod holds and looks, baseline left as Decor shoots to our right. Even the midcourt area to Lang on the right side to Scurring. Scurring right wing to. Nimrod back between the circles to Hartman. Lop pass underneath the lane. Puts it up and in. Oh, beautiful play there, Darren. Hartman with the find. Lane with the bucket. 37-25, Cadets. A little Sixth high low. To play here in the third quarter. Girolamo Ger- takes an 18-footer and buries it. Girolamo, a 61% shooter on the se- season. It's his second bucket of the night. 39-25 the score. Colin Nimrod right corner to Hartman. Hartman skips it over to Scurring. Scurring left of the lane to left corner to Johansson. Leaves it at the free throw line to Lang. Put up the shot there. No good. Rebound Spencer Bohr for the cadets. Out of Will Thompson. His pass knocked away by Lang. Taken away by Scurring. Scurring ahead to hold Johansson. Dribbles around a defender into the lane. Dumps it to Scurring. Puts it up. No good. And a foul is called. So Drake will go to the free throw line to shoot a couple. The foul will go against... Will Thompson, his first, team second. If we can do that more often, Darren, that would really bode well for us. Going into the fourth quarter in the girls' game, uh, Crestwood leading that one 47-24. Gee, they really clamped down on our defense or something. They're 15-2 and and number 3 and uh, 3A for a reason. I have a note. I have something to say to that too, but I'm gonna not second going to. Second free throw, <laughs> up and good. Thirty-nine twenty-six. Since when have you ever been shy, my friend? <laughs> right there. Better mark it on your calendar. It'd probably be the only time. Gouvalier on the left wing over to Tristan Moore on the right wing. High on the right to Spencer Bohr. Left to the key to Tristan Moore. Tris- or to Gouvalier. To Spencer Bohr. Left corner to Juralamo. High on the left to Tristan Bohr. Back to Gouvalier. Bikes playing a, looks uh, like that 1-3-1. One, 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 yep. yeah. Causing a little bit of hesitation here. Spencer Bohr, bounce pass on the right wing to Will Thompson, skips it over to Spencer Bohr, left side. Bounce pass high on the right to Tristan Bohr, dribbles it off his foot. There's a loose ball, it's taken by Girolamo. Left side to Spencer Bohr, and when McCormick not seeing something he liked on that offensive set, takes a 30-second timeout, 4.50 to play here in the third. It's 39-26, Cadets. Cadets led 16-12 at the end of the first quarter and outscored the Vikings 19-11 in the second quarter. And giving up 16 and 19 points uh, defensively just isn't going to get it done. Or... No, Darren, and I don't know what Decor is going to be able to do here to come back from this deficit. Uh, Crestwell's playing pretty solid right now, and uh, Decor's working hard. I mean, they got to give him credit. But uh, we've got to make good on every opportunity we get. And it all starts with defensive stops. As Thompson has the ball inbound, center circle, left side to Kuvalier. Kuvalier guarded by Hartman against a man for man. Leaves it now to Spencer Bohr, a hand pass back to Will Thompson, and Will Thompson retreats to the center circle. Had it knocked away by Nimrod, loose ball taken by Thompson. Spins away from a defender, goes left side to Kuvalier. Kuvalier skips it over on the right side to Tristan Bohr. Bohr right corner to Spencer Bohr. Bohr driving along the baseline, hook shot up no good. Girolamo got the board, and he went up and got fouled. Girolamo, the 6'6 senior, it's fouled by Holt Johansson. Holt picks up his first and the team's first of the second half. And there's a real project. Girolamo has really come on this year. I didn't think he'd play. Credit, credit that young man with some work sometime or another. First free throw. No good. 421 to play here in the third, second free throw. Good. 40 to 26. Girolamo out Jeffrey Haskovic back in. Yeah. 421 to play in the third quarter. A 14 point lead for the cadets. This is their biggest of the night, or at least it matches it. Right corner 
Imran, right short corner to Kane, skips it over to Drake Schuring, left side, got his man in the air, drives in the lane, stops, goes to Nimrod, right wing, three-pointer, front rim, no, weak side board, Joe Hansen puts it up and in. Bolt with his first point since the first quarter. It's 40-28, to 28, Crestwood, 3.53 to play in the third. On the right wing with it is Tristan Bohr. Bohr stops back between the circles to Spencer Bohr. A hand pass to Will Thompson. Thompson on the left wing to Kuvalier. Top of the key to Haskovic. Right side of Thompson. Three-pointer up. It does not fall. Rebound Tristan Bohr. Puts it up and in. There was a good athletic move there by Bohr. 13 on the night for Tristan Bohr. 42-28. Cadets. 3.23 to play here in the third. Here is Schurin getting a double team. His pass taken away by Haskovic. And Haskovic's pass is punched out of bounds by Colin Nimrod as he goes into the padding. Colin shakes off the cobwebs and runs to the other end of the floor. <laughs> I and wish... now runs to the bench. <laughs> I wish that he'd put a little effort into the game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? Perhaps a little bit extra, he might have got a hole in that wall. Yeah. 3.18 to play here in the third quarter. It's 42-28 lead for the Cadets. Askovic underneath at the right block to Tristan Bohr. Bounce pass right of the key to Thompson. Left side of Kuvalier. Three-pointer front rim. No. Rebound pulled down by Johansson for the court. Johansson jump pass across the timeline to Pierce. Pierce in the right corner. Leaves it to Leaps in the right corner. Leaves in the back side. Teams. Kicks it now to Johansson underneath the Hartman. Left block puts it up and in. That's good, but gee whiz, our backside is wide open. Hartman with four. 42 to 30 the score. Tristan Bohr with a quick three pointer. No good. Rebound Karam out of bounds, and it will be to Cora Basketball. Mm-hmm. There was a bit of an official disagreement there, but Mr. Gilau right on the call. Yeah, that arm wrestling. I tell you, that'll solve a lot of problems. <laughs> I'll pass. <laughs> <laughs> well, Darren, I tell you what, you can't fault the quarter. They've, they've played a pretty solid third quarter here. But the margin the same as it was at halftime. It's 42-30. to 30. Left wing with it is Leafs. Back between the circles to Nimrod. Right side of Pierce. Pierce, double team. Back between the circles to Colin Nimrod, vocally calling out a set play. Takes a dribble, left side to Leaps. Leaps double team back to Nimrod, top of the key. Bounce pass on the right side to Skurring. Skurring, right, deep on the right wing to Nimrod, right corner to Kane underneath to Skurring, right block between defenders, puts it up and in. Nice job of taking his time there and getting a really good look there. And good a 30 move. second timeout asked by, for by Coach Carlson. 2.04 to play here in the third. It's 42 to 32. Cadets up by 10. So the Vikes have been able to cut two points into the deficit as we have played almost six minutes here in the third quarter. But Cadets continue to shoot pretty well. And a couple of times they've actually missed shots here in the second half. They've gotten put back situations. Right. Uh, right now, though, I've still got uh, Kreskel only has two put back baskets there, and they've had put back opportunities. If the, if uh, Geronimo had. Uh, had made his uh, two free throws, I would have given him a put-back basket on that rebound. DeCor has done a pretty good job of keeping him, limiting him to one basket here, one shot attempt. And we haven't let him have any of those infamous coast-to-coast yeah. plays. The defense has been a bit more ace here in the second yes, half. Yes, you're right. I like it. You're true to your value. Left corner with it is Spencer Bohr. Spencer Bohr dribbles out of the corner, goes to Thompson in the left corner, put up the three-pointer, no good rebound. Drake Stirring quickly ahead to Pierce. Pierce is ahead of everybody, goes up, had it stripped, goes out of bounds, and DeCora will keep it. That's a heck of a defensive play by Matthew Kuvalier. Yeah, good hustle back, but again, it serves a purpose. we got a break out there. Nimrod will hold and look baseline right in the front court to our right. Bob pass to Kane. Kane lost control of the ball as he fell to the floor. It's taken away by Tristan Bohr. Ahead to Will Thompson and he'll lay it up for two. Thompson with Quill. 44-32. 85 seconds to play here in the third quarter. A 12-point lead for the Cadets. That's a huge play there, Darren. Nimrod to Kane at the free throw line. Left baseline to Leaps. 15-footer is up. It's no good. Rebound pulled down by the Cadets. It's Tristan Bohr that got it. Out of Will Thompson. Thompson up in the front court. He gets fouled by Nimrod. And they're going to give him the continuation. 
as Thompson makes the bucket. Nimrod with the foul, his first, team second. And there, it's, it's, look how things quick quickly change. We had an opportunity to go down to eight, and all of a sudden we're back to 14 again. So Thompson will go to the free throw line, three for three from there tonight, and he has 14 points. When you're not facing Will Thompson, he's pretty fun to watch. Yeah. First free throw, first they're only up and good. When you're facing him, he causes some ibuprofen to be taken. Yep. It's a headache. Pierce on the left side, left corner to Nimrod. Callen driving the baseline, put up the shot, no good, and a foul is called. Boy, he got bailed out again there on a wild shot. And Duralamo picks up his second, team's oh, third. a bloody nose. Who had, or Collins got the bloody nose. Yeah. 53.4 to play here in the third quarter. It's a 15-point lead for the Cadets. And now... We'll have to get a hazmat team in here to clean this mess up. Yeah. We may have to go to air raid shelter. Who knows where we'll end up. And I'm yeah, not... you, you grew up in the area era of uh, duck and cover. <laughs> yeah, duck and cover, yeah. Because hiding under the uh, school desk would prevent <laughs> oh, the yeah. nuclear radiation yeah. from coming. Yeah, no radiation would get to you <laughs> if you had your arms over your hands over your neck and head and you were under your desk. Nobody would find you. Collins going to go out of the game. DeCora can put anybody in to replace him. And going to the free throw line will be Drake Schuring, who is one of two at the line tonight. He leads DeCora with eight points. Drake on the season a 67 percenter. First free throw up and good. I was going to say we should put in our 95 percent shooter, but I don't know if we don't have one probably. Eh. Leaves is the best by percentage. He's 81, but he was already in the game. Second free throw up and good for Schuring. 47, 34, 50 seconds to play here in the third. Thompson dribbles across the timeline on the left side to Martinez. Martinez to Girolamo underneath the simile. Left block puts it up and in. Nice left-handed move. He's got eight off the bench to Simile. It's 49 to 34, 35 seconds to play here in the third quarter. Joe Hansen jump pass to Pierce in the right corner underneath the Lang. Lang kicks it back to Spring. Top of the key, three pointer. Front rim, no, and a foul going to be called on the rebound. Going to be called on the Cadets. Boy, I like that play there, that inside out. Cadets whistled for their fourth foul. It'll be the second personal foul on Simile. 24.5 to play here in the third quarter. Lop pass into Lang, who makes a leaping catch. Kicks it now to Pierce between the circles on the left wing to Schuring. Now to Lang underneath the leaps. Put it up from five. It's no good. Rebound down to Simile. Simile leaves it for Thompson. 12 seconds left here in the third quarter. Thompson with eight seconds left in the quarter. Around the screen left side with six seconds. Thompson dribbles all the way in. Stops. Leaves it to Tristan Bohr, who tried to catch it and shoot it in one motion. It was unsuccessful. It's the third quarter coming to an end. It's 49 to 34. The Cadets extend their lead. Fourth quarter we go, 49-34. The Crestwood Cadets with a very good offensive night. And they've outscored Decorah in each and every quarter, and they've extended it to a 15-point lead as we go to the fourth. Decorah's up to about 38% for the game, Darren. A little bit of an improvement there. Cresco maintaining that that hot shooting 50% plus. So... It'll be hard to beat them if they don't uh, have a total meltdown here. Interesting, though, that Decor has done a little bit better job on the defensive end, I thought, Darren, even though we yeah. lost some points there. Pierce up into the front court, bounce pass on the right wing to Leaps, back between the circles to Pierce, high on the right to Lang. 
Lane back to Pierce between the circles. Dribbles to the free throw line. Left wing to Stirring. Left corner to Johansson. Trying to get it to the high post left. And Pierce is taken away by Kuvalier. Now to Thompson. Underneath the Spencer Bohr. One more pass to Tristan Bohr. Tristan Bohr goes up. Had it blocked and got fouled. Johansson, the personal, his second. Team's third. And Tristan Bohr will go to the free throw line. This is his first appearance at the line tonight. He's a 59% free throw shooter. He's got 13 points on the night. Will Thompson leading the way for Crestwood with 15. First free throw up and good for Tristan Bohr. Yeah, this guy's going to be a load for the next couple years, Darren. It's already a load enough. Second free throw coming. It is up. It is good. 51-34, 17-point lead for the Cadets. Kristen Moore with 15. Johansson, right corner to Pierce. Pierce deeper in the right corner to Spring. Top of the key to Johansson. Spun away from a defender, got it back, kicks it right side to Pierce. Three-pointer is short. Rebound, Leaps puts it up and in. Leaps with his second bucket. 51-36, 15-point lead for the Cadets. They have the ball. They shoot to our left. There's 7-10 left. Tristan Moore on the right wing. Underneath that, the right block to Spencer Bohr. Back to Tristan in the right corner. Started by Schuring. On the drive into the lane. Back between the circles to Thompson. The core playing man-to-man. On the right wing to Tristan Bohr. Guarded by Schuring. To Girolamo at the top of the key. Tried to get it underneath. Pass towards Spencer Bohr. Was deflected out of bounds by Jacob Leeds. And a timeout is going to be asked for by Lynn McCormick. It will be a 30 with 6.54 left. It is 51-36 cadets. Darren, that was a, a good defensive stand there again by Decora. It's too bad that we touched that errant pass. We had them kind of in a fix. Uh, again, a couple other things here that are kind of interesting. Decora actually has six second-chance baskets now, Darren. And on the other hand, Fresco is only stuck. They stuck with that two they had early on in the game. So, again, one of the best plays the Corps come up with tonight, and I hate to say it this way, is that our, when we take a three-point shot, we've come up with some putback opportunities on almost all of them. Girls' game is done, 62-32. Crest winning match comes to Spencer Bohr at the free throw line, and he nails the free throw line jumper. Spencer Bohr now with 10, three players and double figures for the Cadets, and they lead by 17. Playing with it right of the lane, left side to Leaps. Jake takes the three-pointer, it grazes off the front rim. Karam to rebound, comes to Johansson now to Leaps, put it up and in, and a foul is called on Will Thompson. Yeah, that was a good call, and again, there it is, Darren. Three-point shot, second-chance basket. Thompson picks up his second, team's fifth, and Leaps will go to the free-throw line to shoot a cup. He's got six points on the night. On the season, he is an 81% free throw shooter. First free throw, no good. Rebound pulled down by the cadets. Tristan Moore got it now to Will Thompson. Thompson on the right side to Tristan Moore. He was bumped into and fouled by James Lang. And Lang will pick up his second personal foul. I don't like any. I don't like brutality or, or any kind of thing. And but I, w- I wish that Lang would have got his money's worth on that fall. It'll be a full timeout asked for by Coach Carlson here. There is 6:24 left. Vikes trail by 15, 53 to 38. This for Rockweiler Appliance and TV. 53-38. Cadets up by 15. They led 16 to 12 at the end of the first quarter. A 15 to 4 run over the end of the first quarter and the start of the second quarter put the game in the control of the cadets and they have never looked back since. That's well put, Darren. Uh, they just took control of the game. Kristen Bohr, Girolamo, Spencer Bohr, Kuvalier, and Thompson in the game for the Cadets. Thompson with a catch in the right corner, and he'll retreat on the dribble in the midcourt area. Thompson leaves it deep on the right side to Tristan Bohr. Bohr drives to the right block, put up the shot, no good. And Tristan Bohr will come over the back of a couple of Viking players, and Bohr will pick up his third and the team's sixth. And at the 6-14 mark of the fourth quarter, that's the first player with three fouls. Really? Pretty well played game, isn't it, Terry? 53-38. 15 point lead for Crestwood. Pierce right corner to Scurring. Scurring on the right wing to Pierce. Back between the circles to Leaps. Leaps holds and looks on the right side to Pierce. On the left side to Scurring. Left corner to Johansson. Pops it back deep in the left 
side for Scurring. Scurring, top of the key to Leafs. To Scurring, skips it over to Pierce right side. Crestwood still playing that 1-3-1. Right corner to Johansson. Johansson, live pass underneath towards Scurring. Intercepted by Martinek. Now to Tristan Bohr. Put it up, no good. And a blocking foul is going to be called on Jacob Leafs. Leafs picks up his second, team's fifth. And... Tristan Bohr, who has 15 points, will go to the free throw line. Now, I'll tell you what. You better be ready to go back and play some defense because Cresco, it's it's Katie by the door as soon as they get a clean steal or a rebound. First free throw, no good by Tristan Bohr. Nimrod. With the nosebleed clotted, he looks like a wrestler with the gauze up his nose there. Yeah. yeah. The, uh, back in, and Hartman back in to join Scurring, Pierce, and Johansson for the Cora. It's going to be difficult to beat these guys down the road, too, Darren. I... Fresco's got uh, some weapons. Tristan Bohr, second free throw up and good. 16 points for Bohr, 16-point lead for the Cadets, 54-38. With 5.22 to play, they tried to get it underneath to Colin uh, Nimrod, and the pass goes to the Decora bench. Turnover number nine for Decora. Yes. Until we develop some outside shooting, teams are not going to respect us. It, that middle is going to be hard to get into. Will Thompson dribbles to the left wing, back between the circles to Haskovic on the right side of Tristan Bohr. Bohr leaves it for Martinic, driving down the lane, put up the shot, no good. Martinic got it back, had it stripped out of his hands by Scurring. They're going to rule it a tie-up in the alternating position to Crestwood. 5 4 to play here in the fourth. 54-38. Crestwood leading by 16. Inbounds it comes in the right corner to Will Thompson, who retreats to the midcourt area. Leaves it on the right side. Tristan Bohr jump pass to Martina Kaipos. Left, left corner to Simile. Simile puts up a running one-hander from five. No good. And Simile fouls in the battle for the board, I do believe. Yes. Simile will pick up his third, team seventh with 4.51 to play. This that, is Vikings Radio 1240, KDC to Corollary. That's an advantageous uh, uh, foul there. Meaning? Meaning that uh, I think we got a bit of a bailout on that, uh, in that uh, I didn't see what the Cresco kid did. I thought he had a pretty good angle on it. First free throw, no good by Bryce Pierce. By 7 of 13 at the line, rebound Jeffrey Haskabek. For the cadets, they bring it to the front court to our left, leading by 16 with 440 left. Askovic on a bounce pass right side of Will Thompson. Thompson on the right wing. Skip pass to Tristan Bohr, put it up, no good. Haskovic put back, no good. Third time Haskovic goes up and gets fouled by Chris Hartman. Well, they had a nice set play there out of that uh, sideline out of bounds there, Darren. And Hartman will pick up his third foul and the team's sixth. So Jeffrey Haskovic with two points on the night will go to the free throw line. He's four of eight at the free throw line this year. First free throw is no good. There's no second chance bucket on this one either, Darren. Interesting. Neither team is shooting free throws very well right now. Well, cadets are 11 of 15, make it 12 of 16. As Askovic hits the second one to go, the Vikes 7 of 13. 55 to 38. 17 point lead for the cadets. This marches the, matches the high water mark of the game. Pierce with it in the right corner. Pierce bumped into and fouled by Tristan Bohr. Fans are ruining and on, but Bohr gave a pretty good body check there. And that's the stuff that isn't allowed anymore, and Bohr picks up his fourth in the team's eighth. Pierce will go to the free throw line, 4-1-1. One and, one. and a casual conversation between the official who called it and Coach McCormick. Coach McCormick, Coach McCarville, and Coach Smith in another conversation. Yeah. Something tells me they weren't the same conversation. No, I think. up and good. You know what I think? I think the official missed it. I'll disagree with you. We, we're sitting three feet away. That's Don't you love a critique? That's why we were such a good officiating team, Darren. Yeah. 
<laughs> I call black, you call church. <laughs> so we we knew that was going to happen, so we didn't call anything. Exactly. Pierce hits a couple of free throws. What was the use? 40. We were going to ne- neutralize each other's exactly. ball. Let them play. Exactly. And we often uh, we often had uh, a basketball game to get to anyway. So. Yeah, that's true. Askovic on the left side of Spencer Bohr. Tabakita Kubler. We're inside of four minutes to play. Cadets up 15. Here is Pierce na- knocking away from Martinic and taking it away. Bryce up in the front court to our right. Bryce on the right side to Johansson. Johansson now to Pierce at the free throw line to Hartman. Right side to Johansson. 15 footer buries it. Johansson with nine. It's 55 to 42 with 3.33 left. Thompson around a screen right side. Thompson drives all the way to the bucket, puts it up and in. Wow. That was too easy, Darren. Too easy. 17 for Will Thompson, 57 to 42. Cadets up 15 with 3.18 to play here in the fourth quarter. Pierce skips it over there to Johansson. Johansson takes a fade away from 12. It rattles around the rim, does not fall. Rebound down. Spencer Bohr tried to get it to Martinic, and it's taken away by Callan Nimrod in front of the Crestwood bench. Now to Johansson. Johansson now to Pierce, skips it over to the left side to Nimrod. Nimrod on the drive of the lane, put up the shot, no good. Hartman got the board, puts it up and in. Hartman with six. 57-44, 13-point lead for the Cadets. There's 2.42 left in this game. Thompson up into the front court on the right side of Martinic. Top of the key to four, and a timeout is asked for by Lynn McCormick. There's 2.37 left in the game. It is 57-44. Cadets on top. Let's take a break for Vic Seating and Plumbing. Oh, 2.37 left in this one. Cadets leading 57-44. Cadet girls defeat Decorah tonight, 62-32. Back home, cadets shot it better than the quarter tonight. Yeah, right no, here. No, no other way to analyze it really. And there's been some defensive breakdowns by Decorah. That last one there by Will Thompson. I mean, Christ Almighty, he just went right in there like there was nobody home. And uh, we've got to do it just a little bit better job all the time. Inbounds comes to Will Thompson with 2:30 left. Left side to Kuvalier, left corner to Spencer Bohr, back to Kuvalier. Back to Spencer Bohr on the left side, a bump and a foul. Called on Chris Hartman, who will pick up his fourth, and that means free throws coming for the Cadets. 2.22 left. You know, Cresco is just kind of won by committee here. They brought a couple of guys in off the bench, and you had it right on the head. They kind of got the team going, got them into that next mode, if you will, shift gears, and all of a sudden they made that nice run, got that 10, 12-point lead, and they just haven't relinquished it. Rebound down and down off the missed free throw to Schuring. Spencer Moore missing the free throw. 2.15 left. It's 57-44. to Hartman top of the key to Nimrod, left baseline to Schuring. Schuring retreats to the midcourt area, kicks back left baseline to Hartman. A 15-footer is an air ball, rebound down to Spencer Bohr. Bohr to Thompson, back to Kuvalier, back to Thompson. 153 left. And Callan Nimrod fouls Will Thompson. Probably not the guy we want to foul if we can help it. Second foul on Nimrod, eighth on the team. Thompson, four of four at the line, and an 82 percenter. He's got 17 points on the night. He looks like a guy that's owned a house for a very long time at that line. Free throw up and good. Very comfortable. Second free throw for Thompson, up and good. He's got 19. It's 59 to 44. Cadets up by 15 with 105 seconds left. Stirring with a straight on three pointer. No good. Rebound to Spencer Bohr. Out of Will Thompson with a minute 35 left. As the Cadets will now go a little four corners here. Deep on the right Ooh. side, Spencer Bohr. Left side to Girolamo. Left side deep to. Will Thompson. Thompson dribbles to the free throw line. Leaves it deep on the right side to Tristan Bohr. Bohr goes up and a foul is going to be called as Drake Schuring 
prevented the layup. Who's and eyes from the Crestwood fans, but Grapes just uh, preventing the layup, playing hard. He didn't go out and tackle him or anything. Grabbed him by the arm and kind of pulled him down, so I think the contact honestly looked worse than what it actually was. And you never know. Sometimes people get Emmys, too, for things. Yeah. First free throw up and good for Tristan Bohr. He's got 17. 19 for Thompson, 17 for Bohr, Tristan Bohr, 10 for Spencer Bohr. Micah Simile off the bench with 8, so pretty good balance up top for the Cadets. It's a free throw, no good. Rebound to Chris Hartman. 60-44 to 44 Cadets. There's 70 seconds to play. Scoring top of the key to Hartman. Hartman at the free throw line. It leaps, takes the jumper from there. It's no good. Rebound pinballed around and taken by Thompson, and he is fouled by Drake Scoring. That'll be his fourth and the team's tenth with one minute left to play. Thompson will get a couple here. Thompson had 14 points and five assists against the Purdy Sheen team. And the thing of it is, going forward, as the first free throw up and good by Thompson, you could argue Decorah's toughest part of the schedule probably remains. Oh, yes. They've got... The big teams left, so to speak. Free throw, no good. Rebound down to Hartman. Waverly Friday night. Then next week, you got O-Wine, which is one you should be able to handle. And then MFL Marmack, then Crestwood, then Waverly again. Nimrod driving into lane, put up a scoop shot that fell about five feet shy of the rim. Rebound pulled down by Spencer Bohr. Now to Will Thompson. Vikes are choosing not to foul. Down 17 here, and here's... Spencer Bohr with the layup up and good. Spencer Bohr with 12, with 12, 63 to 44. Stirring with a straight on three pointer up and good. Drake with 13, 63 47. 15 seconds to play, and I think the cadets are just going to dribble this one out. The cadets are going to go to 12 and 4 overall and 6 and 2 in conference play. Here's the steal by Leafs. He went up, tried to dunk it, missed. Scurring got the bucket up and in, and that's that. 63 49. The Crestwood Cadets defeat the Decorah Vikings. We'll take one final break for Bruning Rock Products. 